Now, if you want to come around over this side, I'll show you. Do you have a bucket of water there for me? Now, very gently rinse it from up here, down into the box. Okay, now to get the, the gold out of your nipples up here at the top, you're going to tilt this to one side, and you're going to rinse it from right there. As we said, Dan has never sluiced before, so he's learning how to clean up a sluice at the end of the day. Back, roll it in the bucket, put it in the other direction, and start shaking it vigorously as I unroll it. I'm going to that through a couple of times, I'm going to make sure we get all the gold just lodged and down in the bottom of the bucket. All three on. I'm going to give it a good look to you as I pull it out of here. And we're as clean as a whistle. I'm going to set that back in the box here. Now I'm going to take my bucket and I'm going to give it a good twist. And what I'm doing is shaking it to get the gold to the bottom of the bucket. That way I can pour the water off the top without much fear of accidentally spraying any gold on it. And I'm not pouring it all the way around. I'm going to leave a little bit in there. There's not to accidentally pour any gold on it. Now, if you do some time to handle those two gold pans, oh, there. Now, I'm going to take the two gold pans. And I'm going to put a little water here. I'm going to put a little rock in there to weight it down, help me out a little bit. It doesn't float off. And I'm going to take the first pan and I'm going to go ahead and dump my material into the bowl pan. Now I'm going to liquefy the material. I want to be able to stick my fingers to the bottom of the material very quickly, and that'll allow the gold to fall to the bottom of the pan. I'm holding the pan flat at this point, giving it a little distance to fall to the bottom. Now I'm going to pull back a little bit, being careful to use my safety pan, and I'm going to tilt it ever so slightly forward so I can get the gold to fall to the deepest part of the pan on the edge. I'm going to stop shaking, and I'm going to rinse just the top layer of material off, not disturbing the bottom of the pan. <coughs> One, two, three. Shake it sideways. Liquefy. Stop liquefying. One, two, three. Again, liquefy. Now that gold will fall to the bottom. One, two, three. Again, jiggling. Keeping this corner at the lowest point is my lowest point. So I know that the gold is now in that bottom. And when I rinse the top surface off, I'm not disturbing the gold in the bottom of the pan at all. And there's not much chance it's going to make its way out of the pan. Two, three. A good shake. One, two, three. A good sideways shake. One, two, three. A good sideways shake. One, two, three. Note that the ripples are out in front of me here, so there's not much chance the gold's going to jump up and over those ripples. One, two, three. I'm going to continue this process until I get rid of all the blonde sands, and I have very little black sands left to work with. As you see, there's no gold appearing at this time because the gold is down in the bottom, and if I'm careful just to rinse the top material, it will remain in the pan. As I get less and less material, I'm going very gentle with the water now. I'm going to take a second, I'm going to rake my fingers through here. I'm going to pull the bigger rocks up into the top of the pan. I'm going to cut my hand behind the pan. I'm going to pull these rocks up into the 
clean to my hand. I'm going to fill the pan with water. I'm going to rinse them off real good. Double check to make sure I don't have any gold or quartz on rocks. Uh, you can find gold on limestone. You can find gold on quartz. And just about any rock associated with the area. So you need to mix them carefully. If there's no gold, then just discard those. I'm going to shake it again really good, allowing the gold again to fall to the bottom of the pan at the lowest point. And I'm very carefully again going to lean it forward here, not too far forward, and just use the water to pull the top layer off. One, two, three. A little jiggle. One, two, three. You see now I have mostly all black sands. I'm going to take this down just a little bit further. I don't have to worry about losing a piece of tube because I have a backup pan that will be panned out for here. Two, three. I'm going to remove a couple more of the bigger pieces out of here. Makes the last part a little easier. Now, with a little jiggle and a little bump, I know the gold is going to kind of collect in one area in the bottom. With a little water in the pan, I'm now going to swirl the pan around and wash the lighter material back, exposing the gold underneath. And it looks like we've got a real good cleanup here today. We've got a lot of gold. And I'm going to reach in here and remove a piece of lead, which I put into a container over here because we want to not put that back into the river. Now I know I have good gold in there, so I'm going to turn this pan sideways. I'm going to again shake it real good, get the gold down in the bottom underneath the black sands. And now I'm going to very gently rinse the black sands off the top. I rinse it three times, I give it a little shake to get the gold back down on the bottom, and I'm watching to make sure no gold skating out here on the pan. So I three little strokes as a rule. One, two, three, jiggle, bring it back. One, two, three, bring it back. And I'll continue doing this until I have almost little or no black sands at all. The gold being very heavy will stay right up here in the corner of the pan. I'm going to take a second and remove again a couple of the pebbles. Shake it real good, get the gold down on the bottom. Rinse just the top surface off. The lighter sands. And you notice I'm always doing that into a catch pan. I don't ever do that into the creek. You don't want to lose any of those precious pieces of gold after working so hard all day to shovel it into the sluice box. <laughs> I believe I did tell you you were going to have a lot more gold than you had in that vial when you showed up. I, I think you you have a great cleanup going here. Oh, last one. I saw that one That's make right, a bid for freedom. Get it okay. Now I'm down to a small amount. It's difficult to get it separated. You know, I'll bring the black sand back a little bit like this. And I'll take the, with a slight upward angle and a little, little bit of water to cover the bottom of the pan. And get it up in the top here. I'm going to give this a bump. And I'm going to make that gold walk right up into the top of the pan right here. Separating it from most of the black sand. Okay. Just do one time, bring it back up. Now, can you hand me that snifter bottle there, please? All right, well, let's get a, uh, a, a shot of his gold. Okay, don't, don't swirl it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Jones.
Okay. Hold it out in the sun completely so it's not in the shadow of your head. I'm sure. There we go. All right. Okay. That would be Dan's goal for the day. I think Dan is a pretty happy camper, right? <laughs>